DJ was a Fawcett Fellow last year, so now technically an alum, and has been also collaborating with Deja and Gaia, and was at the FHW Mandy Institute, still is, I think, right? And our AI Objective Institute, um, uh, which was founded by Peter Eckersley, who many of us love and care about very deeply here, and who passed last year. Um. Yeah, hello everyone. So I'm going to talk about, uh, yes, I'm TJ. I am a research scholar at Future of Humanity Institute. Um, I also lead strategic research at AI Objectives Institute, uh, which, as Alison mentioned, was founded by Peter Eckersley, and I'm working with Dale and others. Um, this is a talk which is like, this is mostly going to be a preview of maybe like a longer talk that I may give at some other point, uh, which is mostly about some reflections on what is it that we are trying to maximize in the long term, right now, through our AI systems? What is it that we are trying to seek the abundance of? Um, one way to think about this is to focus on like the, the, the concept of economies, but just because it's easier to reflect on. Uh, what do economies do? They produce, they, 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 there's productivity, there's production, uh, there's even like words associated with like creating material abundance, prosperity. Maybe like some of these concepts may not like fully apply, like today in the world where a lot of economy is in the informational world, like does the word material abundance actually like capture the whole space of what economies are doing or not? Not entirely clear. Um, so th there's a bunch of like more like metaphors of optimization and maximization that we associate with, uh, uh, with, with economies uh, and economic systems. Um, and yeah, like it's not always clear whether like these things are consistent. Like maybe like an economy is maximizing for uh, like uh, consumer preferences, but like uh, is it like our consumer preferences consistent over time or not? Like these are all different sorts of questions that we can ask. Is the economy maximizing something that we can describe? Uh, is a, a question that we can ask. Every definition, is it like a time, time or context sensitive definition of what the economy is maximizing or not? These are different sorts of questions that we can ask. Why does this matter? Because we want to understand how the production has evolved or changes. Because when we are trying to influence the, the, the long term future, we also want to understand like what, what is the way in which we are like trying to influence it. So we could think about what the pre industrial economies were maximizing for. And then look at what current economies produce. There's a lot of overlap. There's a lot of things that have that, that are obsolete in what like the oldest economies were producing. And in some sense, we can then try to think about what do what would we want the future technologies, such as post-transformative AI economies, to then get in the production of. Like because at, at some level, we would we want these systems to meet con, like consumer preferences, human needs and wants and things like which are basically something really adjacent to what like economies are supposed to do. Now, of course, like when I'm using the word economy, like what is it doing is like weird because like there is no it, there's, there may not be a current agent, but we can think about like systems in terms of, oh, like different boundaries and within a particular notion of a boundary, the automobile industry maximizes for this, this or that. And then we can talk about how these boundaries may even evolve over time. Um, having said this context, um, I think then it can make sense for us to talk about how uh, issues in moral philosophy and economic philosophy and political philosophy relate to each other. A large part of the, um, a large part of like uh, work within um, within the last century has happened in terms of aligning the welfare state, for instance, within development economics. Um, Ouch. Okay, so, so, so th there's a few things that like we can do a comparative study of like what are the different concepts of beneficence that emerge in these settings. Uh, the notion of well-being, which is like creating the conditions that maximize the well-being and minimize the suffering, versus the notion of preferences, where like creating the conditions that maximize, uh, that satisfy the most preferences. 
And then there's notions such as like Amartya Sen and Martha Nussbaum's capabilities approach, which, is, which say, create the conditions that enhance the capabilities of moral subjects to pursue their own subjective well-beings. At, from a distance, they might all seem like they, they, they might create the same sorts of conditions, but in the descriptions, they draw different boundaries. For instance, like in the notion of capabilities, who gets to decide what, it, what is well-being for one moral subject or not is decided within the boundary of the individual, not at the boundary of, of the economy that is doing something. Um, and in that sense, it could be important to look at these different vocabularies and semantics of objective functions uh, in order to understand which boundaries have access to which information, uh, which boundaries get to recognize which preferences, uh, so on and so forth. Um, then a bunch of implications, I'll just run through them. Uh, but like most of the things I already covered, uh, that there are a lot of important philosophical questions that need uh, unpacking so that we can have better access to this language. Because we also want to align our current systems, but we also want to understand what is it that we're trying to align long-term uh, scalable decision algorithms. You can call it transformative AI, AGI, whatever name you give it information processing systems that are going to take large scale decisions in the future, what sorts of information processing they should be doing, what, sh shots, what, what sorts of boundaries uh, we should recognize around them, so on and so forth. Um, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you.